How's it going, everyone? Spencer with Stadia Dispatch here with my favorite senator here, Senator Rogers. How are you doing today? Great to be with you. Awesome. So, I know we've had a kind of a lull in the election and integrity stuff just because of the current political climate. What's going on in the Senate right now? What are we doing to make sure our elections are secure for next year and we don't have a repeat of 2022 and uh, 2020? Well, there's never really a lull for me. Yeah, obviously. Uh, even though uh, we adjourned uh, at the end of July. And then we go back into session on the 8th of January. Uh, but there has been a lot of activity even in this off season. Uh, my colleague Sonny Borelli and I have been to several county boards of supervisors to encourage them to adopt the Senate concurrent resolution, which says uh, paper ballots, no machines, hand count. They're reluctant to do it uh, because it's against the status quo. And they blithely uh, still have confidence in the machines, which are uh, inherently corruptible and uh, manipulatable. And also you have a rogue, uh, illegitimately installed attorney general who writes threatening letters and who indicted oh, yeah. uh, two Cochise County supervisors. So this kind of uh, thuggish behavior really dampens the ability for the counties to execute elections legitimately. Well, even though our former AG, Renovich, gave the okay from them to do that. To say, hey, we're going to hold off on certification until then. I remember Gateway Pundit reported on this, so there's an article I'll post in the in the in the chat here in the description if you guys want to go check that out. But it's kind of a crazy world we're living, where if you want election integrity, they're going to prosecute you. It's, I mean, what's going on? Well, there are some things afoot though coming up that we do have confidence about. Number one, there is a lawsuit in Yavapai County that may well uh, prevail to the point where unattended drop boxes will no longer be allowed. Uh, also, we have the dates of 2024 um, that will have to be uh, adjusted so that a recount could be able uh, to occur. 2024 is an anomalous uh, year of calendar dates, the way they line up. And so we're working sort of under the radar uh, to put together legislation to ameliorate that problem. That may result in a special legislative session in January atop the regular session, uh, which I will lead the legislation on because I'm chairman of the Elections Committee for the Arizona Senate. So there are things afoot that may enable us to get some more uh, eyes on and some more election integrity injected into the system. We're optimistic. Many more people are awake now. The Kerry Lake lawsuit and the Abe Hamaday lawsuit, that brought up so much truth now that we were unaware of before. Now, do you, I mean, there's always the wild card of this, if Hobbs is going to sign it. Do you have confidence in her signing this stuff, or what's what's your guys' thought on that? Well, even if she doesn't sign it, the fact that all of this comes out and is uh, shown the light of day uh, has an effect. If people know how the steal occurred, all the different ways that the steal occurred, then those who are plugged in and watching at the various points along the way of where the ballots travel, we're a lot smarter now than we were. Now, I know we just had legis or just had uh, the law fair continuing, and when I said a law earlier, and I mean because we're in between sessions, and you corrected me on that, so I appreciate that. But we had the We the People Alliance lawsuit for the ballot envelopes. You were there, right, in the court, and they did not let you testify. Do you have any thoughts on the judge? Well, I didn't uh, ask to testify. If it's the, the one uh, lawsuit I think you're referencing, I was in the room, Anthony Kern, my uh, colleague and I were in the room, and the way the judge treated Carrie Lake's attorney, Brian Blem, was absolutely despicable. The disdain and the disrespect that the judiciary has for us who want to know why our elections are corrupt, why uh, these uh, signatures get millisecond uh, compared, oh, yeah. it, it's, it's utterly amazing. But 
you cannot be discouraged. You cannot stop. You cannot rest. Our job is to expose this every single day because more and more people are waking up. We have Elon Musk. We have X, formerly Twitter. We have all of these platforms now. We wouldn't have been having this conversation a year ago. So instead of the judge basically interpreting on his own opinion what the legislative intent was, if they would have let you or Anthony Kern speak on the court, like during the court case, you guys could have actually provided what the law meant, what the legislative meant behind the law. Do, do you think it was because that, I believe that same judge was on the ballot for that year? Do you think that's maybe why he didn't want the legislative members speaking on the? I'll tell you what I think. Kern and I agreed that if Kern and Rogers had not been in that room, he would have thrown that lawyer out. Wow. We provided a buffer and a disincentive for that judge to completely go crazy. And they are so. It, it was palpable. And I mean, they're still going after sanctions with him yeah. as well. And the, the bar actually with Brian Blem, uh, I forget who if it was. I don't know if it was the same group that's connected to Mark Elias, but I do remember seeing something on my uh, news feed that they're trying to go after his bar license because he's standing up for election integrity. And what does that tell you about our constitutional republic when you can't bring election challenge anymore? It's, this is how it is, and if you disagree, to the gulags, or we're gonna take away your license. It's absolutely unfathomable. It's ludicrous, and it tells you where we are as a country, and that we must continue to fight, and that we have to fight, and it's just so out of the box crazy that every day you stop fighting, you lose. And is there anything you can tell my viewers, uh, just to add on here at the end, what any additional things you guys are working on, any way that they can reach out to their local representatives to just get involved in election integrity? I would say, please follow me. Go to my website, which is my name, Wendy, W-E-N-D-Y, like the hamburgers, Rogers, like Mr. Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S dot org. Yeah, don't put a D in there. She'll get, she'll get mad at you. No D for Democrat. <laughs> Wendy rogers.org.org sign up for my updates first name last name email address sign up for my updates i send out very cogent succinct full up uh, explanations of what's going on and i send it out about every five or six days it's good information wendy rogers.org perfect wait well, appreciate the time as Thank always you, appreciate the good work you're doing for our state and uh, i wish for the best okay god bless america merry christmas god bless america merry christmas